hello welcome back to my channel if you are new on here this is cuisine demand a channel where we excite your taste bud today i'm going to give you this quick and amazing recipe for my bean stew okay it was so delicious trust me let's get right into it so the first thing i did was to bring water to a bowl that i added in my beans i had thoroughly washed my beans okay i'm going to cover it and allow it to cook till it is tender and soft okay now while that is on fire i'm going to blend my tomatoes my onions and some pepper all right so to start the stew i'm going to pour in some red oil or palm oil then i add in my onions i'm going to allow the onion to sizzle enough okay till it is translucent and or till i can perceive the the smell okay then i'll go ahead and add in my blended vegetables i'll then give it a very good stir and then allow it to simmer After five minutes of simmering, I'm going to go ahead and add in my mixed spices and one vegetable stock cube. I have a video of how I made this amazing mixed spices and I'll leave the link in the description box below and also the list of ingredients I used for this amazing and delicious bean stew. Okay, I'll go ahead and give it a very good stir and also allow it to simmer. Okay. While our stew is simmering, I'm going to go ahead and drizzle in some adobo and a generous amount of shrimp powder. Give it a very, very good stir till everything is well incorporated. Then I go ahead and add in my beans. If you have realized, you know that I haven't added salt to our stew yet. This is because I added a little bit of salt to the beans when it was almost done. So I'm waiting to add the beans to the stew, then I can adjust the, um, the salt, okay? For more protein, I'm going to add in two cans of mackerel, give it a very gentle stir, okay, so we don't flake uh, mackerel. Then I taste to know the amount of salt to add to um, the bean stew. I drizzled in about a teaspoonful of salt, stirred it gently and also allowed it to simmer on a low heat to allow the flavors and the seasonings to come together to give us the amazing and delicious taste that we want. Okay, so after 30 seconds later, I added in my red and green bell peppers to give us the extra rough flavor. Okay, and then I stirred it and yeah, our bean stew is ready, ready to be served. Okay. I really want to say a very big thank you to all of you supporting this channel. I am so much grateful. And if you have watched to this far and you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, like, comment, and share this amazing recipe to your family and loved ones out there. Let them know about the amazing things we do on this channel, okay? So till I see you all next in my video. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye.